Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. One, two, rejects coming for you. What, what, what? Skit, skit. No, that's not part of it. Why not? I, I don't thought know. you were doing a song. The thing is, it could be. It you know, sounded like a song, it is, Rox. I, I think it's a song, Tara. <laughs> Here's the thing. I have never seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Me neither. But I've heard it referenced five million, million times. times. And <laughs> one of the things people say is, one, two, Freddy coming for you. Oh, I don't even know that. I legit thought you were making up your own song. And so I was like, skip, skip, <laughs> we did I keep going. I know something about a striped sweater, something about I, long nails. Right. Does he have long nails too? I don't know, Gross. People have that glove. It's like Edward Scissorhands stuff. Oh. I was thinking like gross long nails that just no one has ever cut, which grosses me out more than anything else. You ever see where they, the Guinness World Book of Records where they, no. Freddie, we think you're gross. Cut your nails. <laughs> like this video, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much to Prepper for Ring helping us. Bell! Ring the bell. She keeps forgetting, but I'm going to keep her mind in her. You better believe it. What <laughs> is wrong with me? <laughs> Purge. <laughs> and I love the bell so much. Shout out to Prepper for helping edit it to make it look like I remembered for Tara to ring the bell. Yeah, he won't See? be able to do that. No, if you want to be super sexy like Long Nailed Freddy, <laughs> <laughs> then go over to Patreon where you can sync up with your own copy. That's where John and Greg exclusively cover a bunch of stuff. If you want to be the sexiest one in the room, then you got to be a patron. That's the only way to do it. And uh, cut your nails, y'all. Chop, chop. This is a two-hour PSA from Tara and Roxy. See how short my nails are. Yeah. Yeah. Claws. Oh, my gosh. She has literal claws, and she's like, cut your nails. Yeah, well, these are my real nails. Oh, wow. Okay, you ready She's for so feisty? Did I tell them we're watching A Nightmare on Elm Street? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think let's do it then. Play it. Yeah, baby. Oh, wow. Already old school. It started so fast. Yeah, it just like immediately gets into it. And, w and we've, we're in a... In a, like a... It's compact like so we must be watching tv right yeah okay that is a rusty blade that does not look like it would work but good luck to you sir equally bad to not cutting your nails is not cleaning your nails <laughs> exactly gnarly oh the heavy breathing is what gets me i don't want it innovative way to start the movie Immediately with really cool shots. I love how like girls in horror movies are always in like some nightgown. Introducing Johnny Depp. Wow. Introducing Johnny Depp. So this is before 21 Jump Street. I'm going to tell you right now. I did not know that Johnny Depp was in this. I, I mean, I know nothing about this movie. I should, but I don't. Oh, cute goat. Robert Ungland. I feel like he must have done so many cons. Right. That's his life now, probably. Okay, DP credit right there. Hey, Love to hey. see it. That's how important it is to this movie. This is a really cool set, this whole industrial thing. Uh I don't know where she's going. Yeah. I don't know where she's coming from. I don't know if this is a movie or we're in a movie. <laughs> the music, too. It's good. <laughs> I don't want it. Okay. Not the breathing. I hate it. Oh, God, in the fire? Oh. You okay, Tina? Just a dream, Ma. Okay. Ma looks wrecked. Yeah. Some dream, judging from that. Oh. Oh, oh. real. Coming back to the sack. Oh, the Ew. sack. Oh, God. Tara, not the sack. Not the, she's. Tina, honey, you gotta cut your fingernails. You gotta stop that kind of dreaming. One or the other. Mom looks like she's been sacked enough, I'll tell you that. Yeah, one or the other. What was in her hair? 
Oh, yes, God will yeah. help you with this. Hold it okay. the whole time. Take it with you. You want to? Three, four, then lock your door. Oh. Five, six, grab your boots Five, six, do what to your what? Eight, gonna stay up late. Okay. We gotta stay up late. Let's go. That's Johnny, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, for the purposes of this reaction, can we just acknowledge how freaking cute at this age? Adorable. He yeah. Like, he's adorable. Matter of fact, I had a bad dream last night myself. I had a f*** on this morning when I woke up, <laughs> Tina. Had your name written all over. Okay, morning. Get it, Tina. The point is that everyone has a bad dream once in a while. Yeah, next time you have one, just tell yourself that's all it is, right? Why well, you're having it, you know? Doesn't even sound like him. He looks like he's 11. He like, and he's supposed he's to be like... He's such a cutie. He looks like... He is adorable. Yeah. Maybe we're going to have a big earthquake. They say things get really weird just before. They, this looks awesome. I agree. Movies don't look like this now. <laughs> I know. They don't have that, that film like... Yeah, grit. Yeah. I can't believe his mother's letting him spend the night here. <laughs> okay. So cute. I have read this scene before. I've you never have? seen it. I read this scene in a script. They use it as reference for things. All day long I've been seeing that guy's weird face and hearing those fingernails. That's amazing you saying that. That made me remember the dream <laughs> I had last night. Hearing those fingernails. I dreamed about a guy in a dirty red and green sweater. Oh, he scraped his fingernails along things. Actually, they were more like finger knives or something. Something he'd made himself. Uh, finger knives. Nancy, you dreamed about the same creep I did. There he is in the window. I thought that was a reflection. Oh, reflection of Johnny. Okay. What? There's something out there, isn't there? Maybe. Well, I heard something. Stumble out of bed and I tumble through the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> when I hit fingernails, that's what I think. Yeah, make him go first. Get out there, cutie. Chivalry is not dead. I'm going to punch out your ugly lights, whoever you are. Ugly lights. Chow, chow, chow. Do you think he's going to die? Uh, uh, from the goal line. What the hell are you doing here? Can't make up, no big deal. Small energy. <laughs> so what's going on here? An orgy or something? Maybe a funeral, kid. It's just a sleepover date, Rod. Glenn was just leaving. You see his face? You see his face? How about we don't pull a knife on people? Right, like why would he... Me and Tina got stuff to discuss. Oh, that's like her boy, right, I forgot. That's yeah. like her... We got our mother's bed. You guys got the rest. Do you recognize anybody I, that isn't Johnny? Not at all. You guys can hang around, right? I mean, don't leave me alone with this lunatic. Please, Nancy. <laughs> it's like kind of playful, but kind of aggress too aggressive. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Way to lock the doors, kids. I don't think that door is very hard to get into. No, <laughs> just tick, tick. You could probably blow on it and open up. <laughs> okay. He's like, oh, why am I not doing it? What do you think they're doing? I don't know. Maybe they're doing Scrabble. Scrabble yeah. can get intense. You feel better now, right? Jungle man fixed Jane. <laughs> no more fights? No more fights. No more nightmares for either one of us then. When did you have a nightmare? The sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Guys can have nightmares too, you know. You can get a corner on the market or something. Okay, buddy. You can at least snuggle her a bit. I'm kind of bummed she slept with him. <laughs> just because I feel like he didn't earn that. He like, didn't. No. He's just he's just rolling around. I like how she wears her watch on the inside. Like people who do, do that, that, I'm like, I used to. Do they're kind of cool. I used to think it was hot. Yeah. I'm like, that's cool, right? Yeah. I don't do that. I should start doing it. Maybe I'll bring it back. Because then it can look like a bracelet, but then what? <laughs> the creek at night. Oh. Was it a rock? I couldn't tell what that was. Oh, yep. Dana. What was that sound? <gasps> Whoa, that looks awesome. Is that coming from the crucifix? Uh, no. No. Uh, no, it's like in the, the wall. wall yeah. <laughs> oh my God. 
That was cool. Okay, but it's where that was hanging, right? Yes, and it just like, yeah, no, that's gonna come right off, right again. Devil coming through, girl. Is it sticky? Knock, knock. Who's there? Freddy. <laughs> that's a Sesame Street Bert and Ernie cookie jar. <laughs> Looking good in the dude's t-shirt. I was just thinking that. She's a cutie. Yeah. Who the hell is that? And it's like, this is the 80s. You probably would just go outside. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not thinking all yeah. the things we think now, right? You didn't even have TikTok to tell you how scary the world is. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch reference? Yeah. Sesame Street again? That top hat shadow is crazy. Uh... Oh. Ew, God, that's what he looks like? Oh, what? what? His arms extend? Ooh, the sound. Please, God. This is God. Oh. We saw her get up, right? She's not sleeping. Wrong. Wrong. Oh. Watch this. Oh. <gasps> Why'd you make us watch that? I wish I didn't. <laughs> uh, okay, he's got to be woken up by now, obviously. Oh. Ew, what? That was gnarly. Oh, my God. That looked so gross. Oh, she's under the bed. Oh, she's having... Okay. Wake her up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, oh my wake God. her up. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh. oh my God. Ah! Oh my. <laughs> like throw something at her, dude. Like, come on. Of course, her friend is going to be like, I'll wake her up. You're an idiot. Oh, her friend's going to think he did it. Yep. I would. Me too. I'd be like, you're the one who came up in here with a knife. <sighs> Tina's definitely dead. He left. Oh. I knew she shouldn't have said that. Right. <laughs> Looks like the victim's boyfriend. Where is she? I put her in your office. He knew that everybody would think it was him. Right. I don't mean her. I mean you. Oh, is that his kid? What was she doing there? Hello to you too, Donald. Marge. Donald and Marge. Iconic names. How you doing, baby? I'm okay, Dad. No, you're oh. not. Oh. You just saw your best friend covered in blood. Rod is not a lunatic, Dad. Nancy said they'd had a fight. It wasn't that serious. Maybe you don't think murder is serious. How can you say I don't take her death seriously? Oh, my God. Her parents are being way too much. Like, yeah. Poor girl. She had a nightmare that someone was trying to kill her. That's why we were there, Mom. She just didn't want to sleep alone. I like kind of believe her, and at the same time, I kind of don't. That that actor, I like her. There's something about it. I don't know. It is very different than nowadays. It is, yeah. It's a different style. Yeah, I agree. I was just thinking how nice it is to have people look like real humans, right? And not all plastic. Plastic. Yeah. Did you sleep? I'll sleep in study hall. I'd rather keep busy, you know. Right home after. She's got beautiful blue eyes. Yeah. They're like. She feels like she came up on the classics, like the Audrey Hepburn to the world. I agree. And like is she gives off yes. that vibe. Yeah. Which is why maybe the style threw me off in place in this movie. I do hear you. It's like she, it, I think she's really talented. It's just not how it's done these days. Right. With that like real. With this genre, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, he's still got, he didn't even care to wipe up his hands. Well, he hasn't gone home. I'm not hurt you. What? Scream. There was somebody else there. The door was locked from your side. Don't look at me like I'm some fruitcake or something. Just move away from us, son. <laughs> Hold it. The You're audio, get... like, is it a lot of ADR or is it just crisp and clear? Right. In the most high and palmy state of Rome, a little ere the mightiest Julius fell. The grave stood tenantless, and the sheeted dead did squeak and gibber in the Roman street. Oh, don't fall asleep. Oh, she's going to flip. I used to hate reading aloud in class. Hated it. <gasps> so she's a 
asleep. <laughs> that was a really cool shot how they showed us she fell asleep. Like her eyes closed and then opened. Opened and, like and you're like. Yeah. And you can't wake yourself up, I guess. Whoa. Perk! <laughs> that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> The costume and hair and makeup in this are awesome, too. I it's agree. Like, like, it's not overly done. No. People look natural and real, real. which is what yeah. you were saying earlier. That looks dope. Dope. The, the one thing is the blood in this is red paint of all red paint. Yes, <laughs> but, I agree. But I like that. It makes it pop. Because yeah. everything else is kind of, like, mu muted. Yeah. Tina? Oh. So she must be screaming. Oh, she's wearing, like, the... Tell me that wasn't Kristen Wiig. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. But if she was just screaming now, was she screaming in class? Yeah, right? Unless, I guess, sometimes you can scream in your dreams until it gets really bad. Then you probably yeah. are screaming out loud. I feel like making this, you must know you have a hit. Every shot looks so thought out. Yeah. The music, like, I feel like they knew, oh, this yeah. is about to be the It movie. And because I wonder what Wes Craven had done prior to this, or if he was like, because I don't, I don't know. Years, this is 84? Right. Like, if, if, they, if he had already had a bunch of great ones under his belt and they were like, this is going to be. Did he write this as well? I don't know. I, I only saw it said directed, but I don't know who wrote it. I'm trying to think it was him for some Oh, his eye. Oh, he's gross. Ew. You know? No, they never let you sleep in class this long. Right. <laughs> this is a long time to be asleep. Although that teacher did like kind of put a hand on her back. I assume she's like a smart girl that like the, oh Ew. that's nasty gross what i was gonna say i assume she's a smart girl who barely falls asleep so maybe they're giving her some leeway but also like what happens in dreams they say it like most dreams feel like hours but are really only it's two minutes like or something. two minutes yeah that's true so he's some kind of a dream monster who can only get to you when you fall asleep yeah i guess but it ha affects but the real world. Yeah. yeah, right. Ooh. Uh. And he loves this industrial warehouse. Somebody wake her up. Ew. Ah! She's trying to wake herself up. Yes. I'll call your mother. Huh. No. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm too embarrassed to stay here. Is she here. burnt on her arm? That burn looks brutal. It looks like a real burn, too. Like a, a raspberry. How do you know that somebody else was there? Because somebody cut her while I watched. I probably could have saved. But I thought it was just another nightmare. Like the one I had the night before. It was this guy. He had nice for fingers. I also wonder if they're adding in the leather jacket sound or if the mic is just picking, picking it up. Picking it up like crazy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Cause it's making me unsteady. Like yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. ugh. Do you think I did it? No. He's got West Side Story vibes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> You're right. So five, six, grab your crucifix. Maybe there's something they can do with their crucifix. Yeah. Okay. No. That shot's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Casey? What, mother? Don't fall asleep in there. You could drown, you know. I've heated up some warm milk for you, honey. Delicious. Do people still do that? <laughs> I've done it a couple times when I can't sleep. Kind of helps. It's funny how we like our beverages either freezing or... Or Hot, has warm, like, like mid temperature milk would suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, so she fell asleep. And now. Very cool shot, like the way that that looks. Come on, baby. 
But is she asleep still? I don't know. Are you okay? Just, you were calling me. I just slipped getting out of the tub. I'm sorry for scaring you. What? Tell her what's going on. They had to build a whole set for that bathtub. There's no way you can fit someone Somebody and come else. straight up with a hand. So that's like... No, maybe you cool. could. I mean, there's not enough depth in it for her to come up like that. There's no way I can fit my body to come up. Yeah, well, I, I'm curious. You want to watch it behind the scenes? Making right. Love, yeah. Yeah. Do not fall asleep, girly. I'm like really loving her, actually. She's yeah. so unique. I agree. And I'm like, I haven't ever. I'm like, where'd she go? Where'd she go? I feel that way about the guy, too. Yeah. Agreed. Where's Johnny Depp? I'm sorry. I saw Delay was on. I thought I'd see how you were. You know, sometimes I wish you didn't live right across the street. Will you shut up and let me in? Did you ever stand on a rose trellis in your bare feet? Why are you barefoot? Yeah, exactly. Where are your shoes, buddy? No one asked you to do that. <laughs> What'd you do to your arm? I burned it in English class. God, I look 20 years old. What? And that's older than you. <laughs> I'm going to go and look for somebody. And I want you to stand like a, a sort of a guard. That you can't mess up. A lot might depend on this. I won't screw up. Tell him. Wake me up in five minutes. Okay, here's what we're going to do. It's dark in here. And it's not what you're thinking. You're not getting lucky tonight, buddy. I like that little back and forth, though. Yeah, it's cute. They have good chemistry. So do you think that this is her sleeping? And she said, I'm going to go look for somebody. Do you think she's no, in the room sleeping? No, I feel like this might be the plan because she was like, here's what we're thinking. But then okay. where is he? I don't know. He stayed there watching. Oh, yeah. Although the, the lights make me think dream. Oh, right. Because they're off? No, or just like the... Oh, the, the fog. Yeah, the aesthetic, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the fog and the. <laughs> Glenn, are you still watching? Yeah, so. I'm just checking. Okay, well, his cover's definitely blown if you're gonna do it like that. <laughs> yeah, so, so what about it? <laughs> Girlies who wear matching PJs like that, elite. Elite, like elite. epic. Yeah. Way better than me. I mean, I'm just a disaster when I go to sleep. I'm, I'm a it's whatever t shirt. It's yeah. been ruined. Pants, they got rips in them. Yeah. Nobody wants to be around when I'm going to bed. I mean, let us know in the comments, every single one of you who's dying to be around while Tara's right. going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is so specific, but you can tell when they shot which scene based on when Nancy has that pimple and when she does Oh, it. when I've she did. Like, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's funny. But even that I kind of love because how long has it been since you saw a teenager with a pimple in a movie? I agree. Oh. Oh, he looks so creepy. He's sleeping, so she's got to wake him up. Oh, he woke up, so he's gone. Oh, no, she fell asleep, maybe. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, sludge snakes. Are you there? Bring in the music, yeah. Yeah, to 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 pump her. Oh, what a cool! That looks awesome. Sick. That is such a cool practical effect. What is that? What? Maybe that's what they did with the. Oh. So she is asleep, obviously. Then. Right. He fell asleep. Oh, well, girl, you got to wake up. Okay, Johnny Depp's going to wake up now, yeah, right? He has she's yelling. To. You, you, you save her. Oh, my God. Good girl. He Grab like, a lamp. He was like, I'm not going to mess it up. Oh, yeah. Let the f Are the feathers, feathers really going places, you think? Oh, okay. But yeah, now knock him. Knock into him. Hit him with the alarm clock. God, mom's gonna come in and see Johnny there, though, right? Glenn, yeah. You oh. bastard. You bastard. Screw you. Just asked you to do one thing. Just stay awake and watch me. You fell asleep. Nancy. Oh. Shut up and stay there. Don't go away. Shut up and stay there. Don't go away. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little dream. That's all. I'm going right back to sleep. Why don't you want to kill your mom? Man? I've got to see Rod Lane again. I took the night shift so I could get some peace and quiet. Look, it's early. 
Oh, cool. Why isn't Glenn having nightmares? That's I'm Where's curious about that too. Yeah, but this is gonna look like himself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just go down and look at it. All right. We're going on foot. Oh come on. <laughs> Don't are you supposed to wear them no on way. your freaking belt loop? <laughs> oh, look, his eyes are. Oh. Hey! Hey! He's gonna hang him. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a really cool, really, practical yeah. like effect. Like everything in this is very practical, which we don't get to see a lot of anymore, and I really enjoy it. He's dead. Uh. They're gonna say he killed himself and he didn't. Tara he definitely didn't. They're gonna be like, well, he was guilty. That's why I killed himself. It's quite the blue dress to wear to the funeral. Right? It's like the exact color of her eyes. But also, it's not black. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also the exact color of her eyes. <laughs> Killer is still loose, you know. And he wears a weird hat and he uses these knives like giant fingernails. You better keep her home for a few days until she really gets over the shock. Of I'm going to get her some help. She is her mother's daughter, like with her performance, too. Uh, yes. Right. It's I'm going to get her some help. Yes. I don't see why you couldn't just give me a pill to keep me from dreaming. Everyone's got to dream, young lady. If you don't dream, you go. I'll sit. Do I like, cover up the <laughs> pimple? The eyes are insane. Yeah, I mean, they're like almost distractingly blue. Like, I'm like, that's insane that those are her real eyes. They're gorgeous. I guess that what we have is just a normal girl who happens to have gone through two days of hell. But Freddy seems to, like, he on purpose hung the other guy so that they didn't know it was him. Right, so, so he's, he's going to know yeah, maybe he's in He's not this. coming out right now, I feel like. He's asleep now. Thank God. <sighs> The poster oh, with the cat hanging out of the trolley. What the hell are dreams anyway? Mysteries. Incredible body hocus pocus. The truth is, we still don't know what they are or where they come from. Isn't that crazy that we don't know what dreams are? Right. It's like our... We just well, accepted it as a society. It's like our subconscious and just everyone gets them. But yeah, it's... Is she asleep or awake? Something's wrong. It, it never gets this high. What's she doing? Whoa. This will help you That's crazy. Shh. Oh my god, oh get something. Oh. I brought something out from oh, my dream. Oh what? Where did you get that? I grabbed it off his head. That's crazy that you could do that. Yeah, I mean that means like he can bring real Things life. Here, yeah. yeah. Rod didn't kill Tina, and he didn't hit himself. It's this guy. He's after us in our dreams. What's up with the gray hair? It's just, like, stressing her? I guess, yeah. It's real, Mama. Give me that damn thing. It even has his name written in it. Fred Krueger, Mom. Do you know who that is, Mother? Nancy, trust your mother for once, please. No. I think I should grab that bottle and veg out with you. Oh. That might help. <laughs> I mean, by just getting good and loaded. Oh. No, that's not good. Can't be out here hitting our kids. Fred Krueger can't come after you, Nancy. He's dead. You knew about him all this time? So, so, whoa, whoa. Just a nightmare. That's enough. If I was Nancy, I'd be so annoyed with my mom. Right. Like, you knew who Freddy Krueger was. was. Tell me who he is. You're getting blasted. Is Freddy Krueger somebody you slept with? Like, yeah. They got this whole system they call dream skill. Okay. So if you have a nightmare, for instance, like falling, right? This slow push-in is awesome. What if they meet a monster in their dreams? Then what? They turn their back on it, take away its energy, and it disappears. Hmm. Booby traps and improvised anti-personnel devices? Well, what are you reading that for? I'm into survival. You're starting to scare me. <laughs> See, because, like, his performance seems of this genre jo a little yeah, bit, yeah, right? Yeah, like, totally. yeah. I don't know. I'm really liking her. I yeah. just really like her. It's just, it's her and her mom just have a different style, wow. tone, delivery. But it's making you wonder, like, is something off about them? Right. Like, what's up? Like, I agree. Mother! Oh, mom looks scary with that shot. Come down to the cellar with me and I'll tell you. What? <laughs> okay. Mom. This is just took a turn. <laughs> mom, you're weird as hell. Yeah, you're weirding me out, mom. Who was Freddy Krueger, Mom? I love that she didn't light her cigarette till her daughter came home. 
Yeah, great. I gotta show this to her. He was a filthy child murderer who killed at least 20 kids in the neighborhood. We found him in an old abandoned boiler room where he used to take his kids. Took gasoline, poured it all around the place, and made a trail of it out the door. Then lit the whole thing up and watched it burn. That's why he looks burned. I wasn't expecting this angle. Mm. He can't get you now. He's dead, honey, because mommy killed him. That's why he's going after these kids in particular. Oh. Why did you keep that? So Okay, but why would you, like, as a mom, wouldn't you be like, how did you know his name? How right, did you like, how, hat? why, like, why, yeah. Why did you have claws on your arms? Like, <laughs> how can you listen to television and hear your records at the same time? Oh, I wasn't listening to the tube, Ma, just, just watching. Miss Nude America is going to be on tonight. What's Miss Nude America? I, <laughs> I want you to go to bed. It's almost midnight. Almost midnight? You're checking on him, Mom? I think that kid is some kind of lunatic or something. <laughs> I don't want that kid hanging around with her son anymore. What, buddy? Also, they look like normal parents nowadays. Yeah. We would get cast as their They're moms. Not, I know. It's like, so true. It's, it's so like true. you wouldn't. There's just. Yeah. I know. Uh, that's what I'm. Uh, you're going out for young mom all the time. All, it's, yeah, always. Not even young mom anymore. Just mom. Literally <laughs> since I like turned 25, it was like yeah. book and mom roles. As teenager with teenager kids. Yeah. It's not with weird. Baby, yeah. Glenn, answer the phone. Glenn is useless. Yeah. He's just always knocked out. Give me that. Glenn's asleep. You'll have to talk to him tomorrow. You've just got to be firm with these kids. That's all. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, he leaves it off the hook. Oh, wow. I, I like that writing because I think that that's very realistic. Yeah. Like the dad would just come in and <laughs> hang up and be like, move on. Don't fall asleep. Maybe she can go, like, go outside, throw a rock at his window. Did she fall asleep just I now? guess. I mean, if that's his... What was that sound? Yeah. Sounded like his... What if Ben tries to call? Oh, no. Yeah, it's a dream. She's out. Oh, no. And now she knows. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. <laughs> oh! Ew! I'm your boyfriend now is unbelievable writing. Yeah. That foam prop was cool. Yeah. Now 12 Isn't it squishy? It's like right on his crotch. I know, right? Like, ah! Oh, so he is having... This might be his first. That's an awesome shot. How did they... That's great. That is... It's like what? A tunnel. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Cool. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! The room must be flipped upside down, right? Or something. I don't know. Right. Like, how did they do? <laughs> Holy junk. That looks amazing. So good. How did they do that? That's great. Hello? Huh? Yeah, I'll get him right away. I love this dad. Yeah. Fred Krueger did it, Daddy. And only I can get him. It's my nightmare he comes to. Break the door down in exactly 20 minutes. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Dumb enough for me to fall asleep and find him. Honey, look, honey, you just do that. Get yourself some sleep. He's not gonna go. Go outside and watch my daughter's house. If you see anything funny, call me. Anything funny like what? I don't know. Nobody believes her. And she has burns and cuts all over her body. <laughs> exactly. It's weird because she has all this Freddy Krueger. Physical evidence. And mom's got a Freddy Krueger hand in the freaking <laughs> the basement. Let's get me started on that. Okay, so we're home alone in this shit. Come to think of it, what year did Home Alone come out? Ooh, what if Home Alone was <laughs> after yeah, and know. it like? Because she can kind of use all this stuff in real life too. Right. Okay, Krueger. Get... Play in your court. The alarm woke her last time, so. And now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And my soul to keep. Before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. 
my soul to take. What is that? It's like the I've heard it's like it the before, Lord's Christian Prayer for like cr- yeah. normal like Christian Christianity, I think. Take away its energy and it disappears. But what happens if they don't do that? Well then I guess those people don't wake up to tell what happens. Turn your back on Freddy. Yeah. Okay, so she She's gotta be asleep, right? We got ten minutes on the alarm clock. Right. I wish her dad was like, yes, I'll be there. And then we actually thought he was going to do that. But at least he sent somebody to watch the house. Yeah. But I just don't be trusting the adults in this universe at all. Me neither. They've been lacking. This basement is a really cool set. Like when mom went down there and grabbed the hand, the stuff that was next to it with the cobwebs looked really awesome. Like, I I really love this, this... Which also gives off Home Alone vibes. We haven't seen Freddy in a little while. It goes down again, or is she outside? She's oh, in she's a dream. In, yeah, she's in the warehouse now, right? Because we, we'll probably have to see Freddy now because it's been a minute. I do like the Freddy design a lot, though, because like unlike a Mike Myers where it's just a mask and you don't get as much of the like this is creepy. His yeah. face is creepy. I crazy. mean, he's his. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree. Like the the makeup artistry and the, the like the practical special effects are awesome. Kruger! I'm here! I don't think he gets summoned like that, girly. Yeah. This set is great. It, I mean, it makes all the sense to have water dripping, steam coming out, weird, weird coloring. Like, I really like it. Uh. Like the spring sound of him. It's like little yeah, springies. It's- yeah. I feel like this felt brilliant original at the time, too. Like, I've never... A dream... Monster. Yeah, the, the, the whole concept Premise, is yeah. like Glenn's headphones. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess like you could, if you can't get hurt. Right. Where are you? Where that shot are was. You, it's funny because you could see her fall into the prop there yeah yeah, it's just funny and i'm like oh they left that whatever yeah i I get it's a dream but yeah totally i felt like you could hear it too (laughs) right he's dead no the so the alarm does work every time i don't know about every time i'm crazy after all Oh, 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 oh never mind Nice. She's literally yelling, Help, sir. Why are the adults so dumb? They're like, Yeah, they're, <laughs> and they're they trapped her in, so in here. Ways. Oh my God. Wait, just open the door. She can't. Her mom locked it. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right Maybe. over the stairs. Oh, ah, uh, wake your mama. Not that she'll be helpful. Ooh, his, his voice. voice I know. Oh, she rigged an th- explosion. Are they kidding me? <laughs> Maybe I better go tell them to tan it. What? That that explosion is real because she rigged it. So I'm like. Yeah, uh, you run. A, you're a cop. This you run man, over. <laughs> maybe I should go tell the you, lieutenant. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe do your job. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gasoline, right? And then light him again. All right. Taking a note from mom's book. But her and her mom are stuck in this house <laughs> until her drunk mom can figure out where the keys are. Yeah. Down goes the house now. Oh, that's a great stunt. This is awesome. 
god, these cops are just, I can't. What? Like, <laughs> how's he gonna get in? Go get your mom. What the hell is going on? He's gone. Parker, get up here. Oh, to mom. Is it possible that she didn't wake up from the most recent dream with the alarm clock? Or do you think this is... I think... Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? what? Was that not action? Now do you believe me? They've got the fires out downstairs. Everything okay up here? What? What? Say something, Dad. Did you see it? I'm okay. You go downstairs. What? I'll be there in a minute. He's not gonna. This is still a dream because there's no way you would leave your daughter up there. And after also, what did you see that? You said no words. Yeah. Oh, cool shot. What? Okay, bring him out. I know you too well now, Freddy. No. You die. It's too late, Kruger. I know the secret now. This is just a dream. Oh. You're not alive. Oh, she's turning her back to him right now. She's doing yeah. that dream tricks. I want my mother and friend again. What? I take back every bit of energy I gave you. Yeah. You're nothing. You tell him, girl. Whoa. God. She looks like all grown up. It's bright. It's gonna burn off soon or it wouldn't be so bright. Feeling better? Oh, I feel like a million bucks. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, the stripes on the top. Yeah. Oh, he's got control of the car now. I'm not doing it. What's going on with the window? Is Freddie in her? Because she's been yeah, weird. Yeah, I know she. Oh. Oh! That. Wait. What? That's it? That's the end? Wait a second. You get out of town. All right. Okay, all right, okay, all right. All right, Listen okay, to me. all Listen right. Listen to me, Freddy One Two. Oh man. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real life conversations, offering quick 10 minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace anytime anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 Babel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil, no paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Was Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions. Apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> I 
We're done with this ad. Oh, we just watched a nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> we, we did. I get I get the name now. It's it's the nightmare that lives on Elm Street because it happened to all the people living on Elm Street. It's funny that we didn't ever get a pickup of the street sign Elm, Elm Street. Yeah. Right? Talk to me. Okay, we gotta start with the ending. Yeah. And then we'll get into the whole movie, but just the ending. Both you and me at the end of this, we just went. Oh, 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 oh. cause that's not what I was expecting us to, it almost felt like we were just about to have a happy ending. Right. I agree. Cause she turned her back on him. And then she told, she told him like, you get out of here. And I'm he like, oh, so the whole point is like your fears can't get you if you don't let them. Right. But then he takes control of the car and. Right. And all her and friends. grabs the mom. So, yeah, and all her friends that were dead are alive now. Right. So it's like maybe she died. Yeah. I don't know. What do you make of the ending? I don't what know. What is your interpretation of what just happened? It's like one of those you want to go look at a bunch of YouTube videos to figure out like ending to be explained. like what does yeah. that mean? Yes. It is weird like the conversation she's having with him when he disappears. Is her like facing all of her fears, being like, I'm not giving you any energy. She wakes up, he can't get to her anymore. We see so his what, body disappearing. Ah. Right. What changes? Why is he able to get to the car and to mom? Or maybe it is just mom. Maybe it's maybe just that, now we're in mom's nightmare. Exactly. I feel like that might be it, but then I the car was throwing me off because I what thought mom's seeing. Right. Oh. Right, because I was thinking, well, then why is he also in the dudes in Johnny Depp's car? But you might be right, because I was like, well, n- maybe now we're transferring to mom, and mom is now going to have to, like, tell him off in her world, right? Whoa. I mean, I mean, there's so he many- just go, he can skip on Elm Street. He just got to go from person to person on Elm Street and be in all their nightmares, except now he can't go back to the daughter because the, the daughter made him go bye-bye. Hmm. But with everyone else is still he's free still with game. her, I don't know. You guys, okay, yeah. we're going to have to watch explainer videos and you guys <laughs> let us know, but also, okay. I'll leave, yeah, leave it in the comments or something. Regardless of the ending, I feel like that movie had us by the throat the entire time. Yeah. I mean, I was in very intrigued the whole time. I mean, the way that the mom talks, I mean, and the daughter, I said that earlier, but like the mom really turned me... For a loop a bit. I mean, I really liked her, but the 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 way she just is, I was like, is this going to turn into something? Uh, especially how she waved at the end. It was like so classic. But maybe that's just like what the vibe was in the 80s. I don't know. Who were the other people that killed Freddy Krueger with her? Right. And like, is that Nightmare she's on Elm Street 2, 3, 4? All the moms getting together. I like I I love that part of the story because what the second she started to say that where she's like all the parents got together I was like hell yeah I'd be one of those parents and be like you're gonna die now. What was a little confusing about that to me is when she started telling the story I thought she meant it was like a while ago when they were kids like when they were young but then she's right. like, all the parents got parents. together so it must have been in the last recent year, few years right? right yeah I think so mm. I also yeah and I'm curious why she kept the the glove. Where it's like, that's a piece of evidence to show that you killed him. But, oh, now it makes more sense. Now it's all coming to me. Because she married the cop. So, like, he would have protected her. But that would have meant that he knows about Freddy Krueger. And then he her wouldn't husband. have acted this and way. And then he wouldn't have. Okay, but what? So how are we going to justify the husband coming mm. in with the girl, seeing what happened with the mom, and then, and then leaving? Unless that was a nightmare. Unless it was a you know, nightmare. It's so weird because we're, we're watching this from a 2024 lens, right? Yeah. But at the time, you know how now it's like if a movie ends where you waking up and the whole thing was a dream and you're like, that's such a cop out. Right. But in, in 1984, that wouldn't be a cop out. No, this would have been the first of its generation and to even do what it's doing. Right. And that's not exactly what happened here. Like this is kind of like the I see dead people of the 80s where yeah. it's like, don't fall asleep. And then but at the end, I just don't know whether it was a dream or wasn't a dream. If we're still in a dream, whose dream we're in and what the deal with the dad was seeing that may, makes me feel like it was still a dream. And when she sa- looks at him, is like, I, 
like you can't control me. It's just such a powerful message, right? Your fears can't control you if you don't let them. Right. But then we dip set on that real quick. Yeah, I agree. It it goes right I'm back talking to in circles. Yeah, well, no, I mean, that's 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 it. I mean, the ending is leaving us for a bit of a loop because when you go, I thought it was going to just be like, oh, it's bright and like, I feel great, like a million bucks. And like she fought off Freddy Cougar by telling him F you uh, and now she rides off with her friends. But like that leaves us in a really good position to be like, oh, sequel, because how can you really kill if she killed him? Then he can just easily move to someone else on good old Elm Street and be in their nightmares. Like it, it just made that me, how that work? I assume that he cannot now get to the daughter that he can just get to the mom and all the friends, but it's still weird. Cause we see it the daughter like he can, reacting. He can only come for kids though. It seems right. Like he's a kid oh, killer. Right. I don't know if that's true though. Well, that's what mom said. Guys, and I do not know. Mom's a reliable source. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's a real drunk. If you hadn't known when it came up that John introducing Johnny Depp, would you have known that was Johnny Depp? Like he's, yeah. so, it was so different. It was different. But like, even when you said you're like, his voice is different. It's a little different. But then when you, when you hear him speak a little bit more, you're like, it very, it sounds to me very much like Johnny Depp, but obviously younger. Cause he has such like a, a tone in his voice and with his delivery. Um, I would, I would have recognized him for sure, but he does look like he's like 12 this movie was very confident in itself. Uh huh. In every shot, in all, even like with something as silly as like introducing Johnny Depp, it was like we know we're about to introduce him to the entire world. You guys are through this movie. Through this movie, like yeah. The music too, and the cues, and like that, like creaker of anytime he was there, and also like I feel if he if Freddy Krueger as a character was in a different movie. He might have looked silly, but in this movie, he, he looked spooky, spooky as hell. Spooky and you know? really good. Because of the rest of everything else. But like when you think like, it, it was not like he looked like a, re, like a burn victim. He looked like a cartoon kind of in some right. ways, but it here it was freaky as hell. I agree. I think I would, I would be curious if you guys leave in the comments, like what's the first movie that Wes Craven did? What number was this that he was on? All right, we got to look something up. To this be like so sure. And I also just want to say that like the practical effects in this movie are 10 out of 10 for me. Yes. Like the wall move when that thing comes off and he comes through the wall, that is something that the I, bed. the the bed, I mean the wall first, but then like he goes down through the bed, the blood coming up and out. I am, that is not CG. That's like practical where they had to build a set, flip it upside down, bust some major blood through that and have that room fill up. Also just like her um, climbing in the beginning with the blonde girl, how she climbs up on the wall and on the ceiling. She's flipped around. I mean, what a great visual. Dude, Wes visuals- Craven is just like the king of all horror. Of dude. horror. In like, 1977, oh, he did so, The Hills we- Have Eyes. Yeah, see, I knew that he had been doing this for a while, so that's probably why i just not as very familiar with all of his films. He did Swamp Thing in 82. Okay. Invitation to ha- a couple TV movies, Hills Have Eyes, part two in 84, right before Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh. Okay. He also, do you know uh, a movie called Deadly Blessing? I've never no. heard of that. Nope. But it's with Sharon Stone. So, Ooh. Uh, hey, Sharon. But also with this movie, Nightmare on Elm Street, he did, in fact, write it as well. So oh, that this is, is like his baby, baby. And then following this movie afterwards, uh, he uh, we know so many of the things that he's worked on, but it's just crazy to see all of these titles. Like, right. Um, the People Under the Stairs with my acting coach, Sean Whalen. Oh, uh, look at that. Scream, Scream 2, yep. Scream 3. Uh, he directed all those? Wow, he directed Red Eye, which is a movie I just watched on this I channel I love as Red well, Eye. Too. That's crazy. Scream 4, he directed as well. Really? I yeah. didn't know that. Damn. Wow, Wes Craven is like... How old is he? He died. He did die, in right? In 2015, he died at 76. Oh, okay. Wow, what an unbelievable legacy he wow. left behind. Though. What was I his mean, last movie? His last movie was, uh, as a director, his last movie was Scream 4. Scream 4, in okay. In 2011. And as a writer, his last movie, uh, looks like his one upcoming project... He did, uh, oh, maybe it's the people under stairs, like a reboot or something. I don't huh. know. Or maybe they're just giving him story giving, credit for of it. Of course, yeah. for adapted by. Wow. The, 
He, wow, damn with him. But I also want to look at some of this cast because you and I seem to be really enamored by a lot of them. Right. But I don't know. Okay, so Heather Langenkamp is the one who played Nancy. Okay. The one with the bluest of blue eyes. Yeah. She, it seems like she's still uh, acting. Oh, that's where, crazy. Did you watch The Midnight Club? Which no. is the um, Mike Flanagan show? Oh, I love Mike Flanagan. It was his, I did not. Okay, he did a show, um, and she was in that she, as oh, well, okay. which is interesting. Let's see what else she did that she's known for. Seems like she's still working nonstop. Really? Okay. But that- but all things that I have not seen: um, New Nightmare, Just the Ten of Us, Just the Ten of Us is a. TV Just show, the ten of us. TV show that was on from eighty seven to ninety. Oh, that okay. She was in that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it. Glitch, which was a horror movie. Cottonmouth, a lot of horror stuff. Nope, don't okay. know him. Um, then the guy who played, let's see, um, Fred Krueger. He, this Freddy versus Jason nightmare. It seems like this is his jam. This is his thing. This, this is, is who, thing. what he did. Yep. Right, yep, yeah. Totally. Okay. Totally. Wow. Nice. Okay. I mean, good job. Also, that voice. The dad, who I felt like I really recognized, too, uh, he's worked, he has, guess how many IMDb credits he has? I wonder if it's high or low. I'm going to say 11. 197. Oh, wow. <laughs> You love to wow. see it. That's a lot of credits. He died in 2020 at the age of 83. Oh. Uh, and he. Wow. He's been working all his life. Good for yeah, him. And he just kept on booking. Kept on going. Wow. Holy crap. Really, really talented cast. Surprised yeah. to kind of not have seen a lot of them. Oh, that dude. What was the guy? Who was the dude that yeah, wasn't the, Johnny Depp? Right, right. The dude in the, in the beginning. Uh, I don't recognize him at all either. Where I'm like, did he continue working? Because there was a point during the jail cell scene where he got uh, kind of like emotional. He was like, calm down, wasn't playing that like, mm, here's a knife and like a hole character. And he was really believable in that. I, I thought, I thought he did a good job. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm liking this guy as from an acting standpoint. Yeah, I'm he all- does Christmas movies now and oh. uh, Atlas Shrugged, Collateral okay. Damage. This is Christmas. All I want for Christmas. Oh, that's like my dream. I want to be in all the Christmas movies. That's dope. I mean, that that's great. And bringing joy to people. I thought he was really good. His first name is J.S.U. Jisoo? I don't know. Jisoo. Jisoo. J.S.U. Maybe it's just J.S.U. Yeah. J.S.U. This... The the film, the grittiness of this. Yeah. I just, do you know when you watch a movie and as filmmakers ourselves and actresses yeah. ourselves and you're just like, I want to make a movie that looks like that. Yeah. Like, I want to make a movie where people look like people. Yeah. Where people's teeth look like real people's yeah. teeth. Yeah. And their eyebrows look like real people's eyebrows. Totally. And the way that they speak and the way that they move and the way that they, whatever, they're real humans. The parents are parents' age. Right. And the kids are of Parents' that, age. Yeah. Yes. And like the grit on it looks like they're walking down the street and it's not sped up and it's not digitized and you didn't take out that pimple. Like, right. Just watching it felt raw and real and creepy. And that's so weird because half of it's in a dream sequence, but like right. it's felt so present. And yeah, I get why this is one of the big, what is it? It's Halloween. It's Nightmare. And it's, there's another one. 17. No, it's not 17. <laughs> there's something, I swear to God, it's like 15, 13. No, girl. 13th biggest, floor, no, 13th, biggest, 17. Biggest Seven, horror <laughs> franchises of all time. If, I swear to God, if Why there's a title biggest horror franchise, that doesn't have it. 17 in it, y'all, I'm losing my mind. Scream is also another one, obviously. But no, it, I'm talking about with a with a big bad like this was. Um, no, I don't know what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Please there, let me know in the what's, comments. What's the, yeah, we got to know because now I, I'm blanking on it, too. Like, I, I we need to watch all the big horror things. It's Freddy. It's Jason. Oh, Freddy. Yeah, what's no, no, that? sorry, Jason, Jason. Who's Jason? Crystal Lake? No, Jason Voorhees. Yeah, I know, but he's at Crystal what's, Lake, right? <laughs> I don't know what's it called. Not Nightmare. Freddy. Jason. Jason? Jason Vo- Voorhees. What is he in? What is he in? He's at Crystal on, Lake, I'll on. tell what you that. What is he in? What is he? Fra- 
Friday the 13th. Ah, I, did, I did a number. That's what 17 was? Yeah. Remember? And then I went 15, 14, 13. 13th floor is what I said. You can rewind the tape. I don't, I don't think you said that. I did. I did. I said it. I said it. And now we know. I'm not insane. I picked a number. You I guys, knew. If you were in the chat. I was close. Okay. If you're in the comments, be easy on us. Because I'm sure close. you want to slaughter us right now. <laughs> I and I understand close. that 17 is not that close to 13. <laughs> it is pretty dang close, um, y'all. But it's Freddie, Jason, and Mike. Those are the big three. Yeah. And Michael Myers. Those are the... Uh, cool. The big three. And now th- I get why he's one of them. Freddie was creepy as hell. That was yep. the whole point of that. 17. You know what it's like. You know what's That's up now. That's the deal. Uh, any other final thoughts about this or 17? I mean, I know. I, I love the way that this was shot. Like I said, great job on the practical effects. I miss uh, the practical stuff. I like watching a movie knowing that they didn't use CGI in it. I mean, they might have because like they would have been in a special effects area in the in the 80s. But uh, I feel like all of this was very practical, which I love. And um, yeah, I want to go back and just take all of the mom's movements and make a meme out of them. Like, I'm like, the way she turns off a light and just how she grabs things. Um, Yeah, mom all the way. Love this film. Love it. I'm down to watch the whole shebang. So like, you better share the crap out of this and like it and comment. Oh, if they don't, tell us how cool we are. I'll be pissed. Yeah, come on now. Ro- well, you don't want to see Roxy mad. Are the other? She's got claws. Are the other nightmares good? I have no idea. I, I don't even think I've seen Friday the 13th, y'all. Which is sad because you, I like. I don't think I saw it either based on the fact that we thought it was called. <laughs> based on the fact that I thought it was called 17. Yeah. I'm re- the struggle is real. All right. That's all for now, Loved folks. It. Thank you so much for being here with us on this unbelievable journey. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you for the, the part two. Yeah. Where I think it does Elm Street again. Elm, Elm Street, Street fights it's back. Elm Street, it's the, the street. revenge of the street of Elms. Of Elms. And all of the Elks come to Elm Street. Totally. And maybe there'll be a 17 in there too. You never know. <laughs> there were 17 year olds in this. <laughs> Bingo, something. baby. Later, Rejects.